Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. And if you're a new viewer, welcome to Pie in the Sky Tours. My channel aims to bring you quality setups, tutorials, tips, guides, and tours from Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. And please do like and subscribe if you enjoy the content, as it helps others find my latest releases. Today's video will focus on using the Prediction Dampening Tool, which comes as part of the new OpenXR Toolkit. My intention is to explain what this tool does and how it works, as well as showing you how I use it generally and specifically with the butt kicker. Even if you are unsure about using the tool, I'd recommend you watch this video to see if it can improve and refine your VR experience further. This currently works with all headsets, apart from the Vario Aero, unfortunately. This is a feature that not everyone might need. It all depends on if you're experiencing any kind of excessive camera shake when flying in VR. The prediction dampening will help users experiencing oversensitivity with the head tracking, meaning that the camera is shaking way too much. The prediction dampening allows to reduce the jitter that can be observed when head tracking is predicted too long in advance. This means that by altering these values, you would experience less shaking due to the amount of prediction movement of the headset. The negative value will reduce the amount of prediction, for example, minus 50% will cut in half the requested amount of prediction. To access prediction dampening, you need to run the OpenXR Toolkit by pressing Ctrl F2 in VR. You will then see the tool in the menu. To use it effectively, you should lower the value below 0% to reduce the shaking. Values between minus 20% and minus 40% have shown great results, but you might need to go down as much as minus 50%. This is something you need to experiment with, as it's very much a personal preference. Just like the world scale, the changes are visible instantly without the need to restart the VR session. I really like to use the prediction dampening when using my butt kicker, since it can drastically reduce the shaking effect due to the vibration from the butt kicker. I like to have the butt kicker set slightly differently for different aircraft, which is set in the SimShaker for Aviators software. This means it's often turned up for engine rumble, which could cause the image in the VR headset to bounce around, which breaks the immersion. To fix this problem, I set the prediction dampening to minus 40%, and I have a smooth image while retaining the vibration from the butt kicker in the seat. I also found this tool very useful in recording my videos. I always use the butt kicker when I fly, and I noticed the recordings were actually being affected by this. So using the prediction dampening really did help to eliminate this, so it might be a good tool to use for content creators too. A lot of people who have upgraded their systems to Windows 11 have been complaining of excessive camera shake when flying in cockpit mode in VR, specifically using the HP Reverb G2. This can be alleviated by using the prediction dampening tool set from around minus 40% to minus 50%. You just need to try it out and see what works best for you. I'm always interested in hearing about how these tools work for you, so please leave your comments and feedback in the comment section below. And do check out my video focusing on my latest and best VR settings for the HP Reverb G2 using the OpenXR Toolkit and see if it helps you push your VR experience to the next level. As always, I hope you find this content useful and I look forward to making the next video soon. In the meantime, as always, take care and stay safe.